Welcome to another episode of Halal Dolls. Um, I'm doing a video today of me painting and I wanted to kind of just show you all um, what I use and you know how to paint. So this um, particular time I'm going to be painting one of the pendant dolls that we have available in our store and um, I'm going to put the, the little clasp on the back. I used my glue gun to put that on there. And I want to do like a little bit of an ombre sort of design on this doll. And for this I'll be using um, these two paints here. It's Fold Clark Metallic and the Crafts paint. I'm mixing those colors and let me just show you my palette that I got going on right here. I'm going to be using Valspar's um, Raspberry Wine. This is a nice little color sample. This cost me $2.68. So yeah, get you some. There's things you can paint so many other things with this. And I'm also going to be using Craft Smart Metallic Paint, the gold. The other one was the metallic um, black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold to create this ombre effect, I'm going to be using this sponge paint, this sponger, paint sponger thingy, and some old paint brushes. I did a paint brushing video before, and I was saying on that that you know I really didn't like using um, these paints, but you know times like this, yeah, this is what you use those paints for, those paint brushes. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this on here. I'm going to need a little bit more, so open that back up and put some more down here. So here we go. just want to paint this on. And then I'm going to go ahead and get another paintbrush. This one is <laughs> really messed up. Let me see. I'll put the gold right there. I don't know. Maybe I should have put the green next. Not sure. And then since I'm going to have to stir those up, I'm going to go ahead and use my smallest paintbrush. I don't even know if this is enough for the entire doll, but we'll see. Here we go. I wanted to use this tip because it gets really close to the neck. I'm just going to roll it down a little bit. I don't know how you've been able to. Sorry, I hope you've been able to see that. Try to get this color right there and then the green down at the bottom. Here we go. I think I want to put a little bit more of the gold right here in this area where it mixes in. And then if I had my Mod Podge close to me, I would actually, I think I'm going to wait I think the best thing to put on it while you're waiting for it to um, dry, it's like to put something, oops, that's okay. <laughs> I was about to say that was a mistake, but no, it's okay. Got a little bit of purple down at the bottom, but that's all right. Go ahead and just mix some gold in with that. Turn it 
turning out exactly how I liked it to, but it's okay. It's ombre. That rhymed, you know. That bottom. Darn diddly. It's okay. It's ombre. Don't want it to be too... That's the thing. You don't want it to be too, uh, you know, full on there. Not full. I don't know if full is the word. I want too thick. You don't want the paint to be too thick. So and there we go. There. Now, like I was saying, if um, the good thing that you can use at this point while it's still wet like this is clear nail polish, or you know, you can use some Mod Podge. I don't think the Mod Podge would actually be a good idea this time. And um, as you can see, I did get a little bit under the net, but that's okay. I do like the color of this. I probably would um, put some more of uh, the gold right here because it's, this part is kind of driving me a little bit nutso. But I also like it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this. Otherwise, I'll be doing like I normally do, which is keep going and going. And I didn't want to sit up here and watch all of that. So, okay, well, thank you for watching, and for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching, and that's all. Alrighty, take care.